Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for another Commander Snack. So this is a series where we highlight a different legendary creature each episode, and then we go hunting through the packs looking for creatures of the same tribe. So today's patron is Travis Henderson. Thank you for being a patron. Let's take a look at your awesome commander here. So we have Kaiga the Tide Star, legendary creature, dragon spirit. 5-5 five, five for 6 with flying. When it dies, gain control of target creature. Alright, and it's a mythic. So we are on the hunt today for dragons and spirits. So the packs here, we should have a decent chance at getting both of those. So let's do things in this order, I think. And the patrons also get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. Along with the art cards and anything from the list, which we do not have in this Theros pack here. Starting off with Hero of the Games, Leonin of the Lost Pride, Triton Wave Rider, Incendiary Oracle, Scholar Grove Dancer, Soul Reaper of Mogus, Captivating Unicorn, Irreverent Revelers, Brian Giant, Staggering Insight for the Uncommons, Caliphate Beloved of the Sea, Daxos Blessed by the Sun, and the rare is Storm's Wrath. It's a sorcery for four, deals four damage to each creature and each planeswalker. And a foil, nice, Aeshox Erasure, that's a foil rare, enchantment for four with flash. When it enters the battlefield, exile target spell. Your opponents can't cast spells with the same name as the Exiled card, and when Aeshox Erasure leaves the battlefield, return the Exiled card to its owner's hand. And a very cool forest, I'll throw that in as well, I think they're over a buck. And Reflection Token. Okay, no spirits or dragons yet. Innistrad Midnight Hunt. Let's see what we got here. There will be tons of werewolves, I can guarantee that. We got Catilda. Dawnheart Prime is the art card. Some very cool artwork on that one. And I think I spotted a foil swamp. Nice. Get a load of that. Awesome. And Arrogant Outlaw Bat Whisperer. Lamholt Harrier. Abandon the Post. Corpse Cobble. Flesh Taker. Creepy as Candle Grove Witch, Harvest Tide Infiltrator. You know what I was saying about werewolves. Let's say Harvest Tide Assailant at Night, Devoted Graph Keeper. And I think, will this be a spirit? Yes, Departed Soul Keeper. Creature Spirit. Okay, first spirit has been pulled. And a mythic. Yes, Hostile Hostile. It's a land tap for colorless. For one tap, sack a creature, put a soul counter on hostile, hostile. And then if there are three or more soul counters on it, remove those counters, transform it, then untap, activate only as a sorcery. And on the other side, we have a 3-7 artifact creature horror construct creeping in. Uh, whenever it attacks, you may exile a creature card from your graveyard. If you do, each opponent loses X life. And you gain X life, where X is the number of creature cards exiled with creeping in. And for four, it phases out. Some awesome artwork there as well. And Timberland Guide. Uh, that is a foil. Okay. And nothing from the list there. Okay. So we got one spirit so far. And a tasty mythic. Zendikar Rising. Let's see what we've got here. And that is a rather strange looking uh, creature, plant lizard thing. I don't know what that is. Uh, that is Canopy Baloth, apparently. And a full art swamp, chucking that in. Expedition Healer, Angel Heart Protector, Shepherd of Heroes. Okay, so this is a cleric pack. Marauding Blight Priest, Blood Chief's Thirst, Skyclave Shadow Cat, Cat Horror. Spitfire, Lagak, Showcase, Blood Price, Spare Supplies, and Rare is Maddening, Cacophony, Sorcery for two, Kicker, three and a blue. Each opponent mills eight cards if the spell was kicked. Instead, each opponent mills half their library rounded up. That is craziness. And a Foil, Angel Heart, Protector. 
and attacking and blocking. Okay, I think we know how to do that. And a Strixhaven pack, which is known for some dragons as well, from the various schools of Strixhaven. Or colleges, I should say. This... I have no idea. I have not seen that one in a while. That is Dragon's Guard Elite. Okay, I think that might be the alternate art version. We've got a forest. thought that was a foil for a second there. Inkling Summoning. Bury in Books. Reject! Yes, that's unfortunately what happens to any goblin who tries to attend the college. We've got Curate. Biblioplex Assistant, Snow Day, Prismari Apprentice, Creative Outburst, and the rare is Cody Vociferous Codex, the so Dream Artifact Creature Construct. 1 4 for 3. You can't cast permanent spells, and for 4 tap, add every color of the magic rainbow. When you cast your next spell this turn, XL cards from the top of your library until you exile an instant or sorcery card with less than mana value until end of turn. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost. Put each other card that's sold this way on the bottom of your library in a random order. And Doomblade from the Mystical Archives. Instant for two. Destroy target. Non-black creature. Foil. Needle Thorn. Drake. That's close to a dragon, but it's not. Okay, and welcome to the arena. Does anyone know the finer points of dragons and drakes? Like, isn't it supposed to be a cross between a dragon and something else? Let me know in the comments section. Not quite familiar enough. Okay, this is Kaldheim. And we have a rainbow colored thing here. Uh, another one that I'm struggling to remember. That is a seeker god of the tree. All right, we'll throw in the snow covered mountain as well. Sometimes those are worth a buck or so. Snakeskin Veil, Ravenous Lindworm, Arachniform. Ice Hide Troll, you knew it was coming, didn't you? Some of you were predicting that. You saw the Cardheim pack and you thought we'd be trolled today. We've got Broken Wings, Vengeful Reaper, Hailstorm Valkyrie, Renegade Reaper, okay, Angels, and a very tasty Borderless Blight Step Pathway. Tap for Black. And on the other side, we have Seer Step Pathway, tap for red, and uh, you combine those colors and you get the Rakdos Guild, my favorite in all of magic. We're going to sleeve that up, I think. Shimmer Drift Veil, Foil Blizzard Brawl, and nothing from the list. Okay, so these Pathway Lands, Borderless, absolutely fantastic. What is your favorite Borderless Land? Is it a pathway or something else? Let me know. Okay, one more pack to crack and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And you can see more creatures like this dude, a troll large giant challenge five. Let's get a squiz at him. He could probably do some digging with that nose of his. Okay, moving on. We have a mountain. Underdark Basilisk Showcase. Baleful Beholder. Eyes of the Beholder. Fantastic games. Did anyone play them back in the day? We've got Arborea Pegasus. Temple of the Dragon Queen. Oh, wait. I'm going to throw that in. Yes, references to dragons. Yep. And Green Dragon, here we go, the Avalanche of Dragons. We've got a Wandering Troubadour, Dragon Bard. Fantastic, you've got the Dragon Pack, I guess. Bull Strength, Demogorgon's Clutches, and a Mythic, yes! Icing Death, Frost Tyrant, fantastic. The Dream Creature, Dragon 4-3 for 4 with Flying and Vigilance, and when it dies, create Icing Death, Frost Tongue. A Legendary White Equipment Artifact Token with... Equipped creature gets plus two, plus zero, and whenever equipped creature attacks, tap target creature defending player controls and equip two. That is awesome. Another sleeve worthy pull. We've got a foil scaled herbalist and nothing from the list. But at this point, I don't think we're too worried because we got some spicy goodness here. So pop that in a sleeve. Enjoy, Travis. 
So we did get a bunch of dragons and a spirit. Sometimes we come up empty, so that is awesome. All right, pop these in here. I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.